Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to create photo transition in Wondershare Filmora like these. Just look at this. So let's dive into the video to see how we can create this. First you need to go to import media and try to pull in all the photos that you want to apply this effect. Simply bring in all the photo to this first timeline. Let me duplicate the photo a few times to have as many photo as we want. Now select all the photos, right click and click on crop to fit. Next, highlight all the photo like this, go to duration and select a duration of just one minute. Click on save and there we are. Let me increase the timeline. Next. Highlight all the photos, right click, copy, highlight the track 2 and paste it right over here. Now hide the track 2, select the photos on track 1, go to effect and choose dispersion blur. Simply select it and apply to the first photo and there you can see the blur has been applied. Next, right click over the first photo and copy the effect from here and select the rest of the photos and paste the effect to all the photos. Next, simply show the track 2 and let me resize the first image and simply resize it like this and place it exactly in the middle. Next, in the effects, choose border. Choose this particular border and simply drag it onto the first image and there we have it. Now double click over it, go to image and in the drop shadow simply click on this projection and now click on OK and there we have our photo. Next we are going to copy this effect right from here and uh, apply it to the rest of the photos. And now you can see all these photos carry this border effect. Next we are going to change the angle of each photo. Simply double click over it, go to effect, go to image and in the rotation simply put in the value 1, click on OK, double click over the next photo and change the position to 3, click on OK, double click again change the position to minus 1, OK, again double click and change the position to minus 3 and simply repeat this process for the rest of the photos. Next, simply copy the photos except the first one and drag it to the third track and similarly again select all the photos apart from this first one and pull it up and repeat this process for the rest of the photos like this. Next extend the photo till the end of the slide and do this process for all the photos. And there we go. Now we are going to apply wormhole effect 3. So this is wormhole 3 and simply drag it to this first photo, double click over it and reduce the duration to only 20 seconds. Next apply, similarly drag it to the rest of the photos like this, double click on the first one, apply to all and there you go. Now each one of these have 21 seconds. Click on OK and now we are going to apply one more transition and that is warp transition, warp 3 transition. So this is going to be the transition that we are going to apply, drag it and simply place it on this track 2 and uh, do it for the rest of the tracks like this. And there we are. Now double click on this first one 
and simply reduce its size to 20. And click on OK. Again, double click. Apply to all. And there you can see it has been applied to each one of these. Now click on OK. And let's check it. How does it look? And there we go. You can see how beautiful this effect seems to be. And there we are. And that's it for today's video. I hope you have found this tutorial useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.